This video surprisingly was asked for quite a bit. And when I say quite a bit, maybe three people total asked for it. But I thought if this video helps three people, then it's probably worth making, you know? Just like if a video I made was literally helping one person get through their day, it's probably worth posting that video. Getting a little bit deep to start off the video, I know, I'm literally only talking about spending $10, Jesus. Anyway, today I want to carry on this like little mini series of how to spend money in TF2 and today we're talking about spending a whole $10. One of the more realistic amounts of money a human being would be spending on this video game. So I want to be giving you guys a little bit of advice as to how I would spend it and what I would do with it. But before we do that, I just want to remind you guys that I'm currently on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we're getting ridiculously close. So if that button below the video says subscribe instead of subscribed, you should click it. I upload every single day, or at least I try to. So if you like TF2 content, this is probably the place to be. Anyway, let's start talking about spending some money. This video is also going to be a little bit more based around the actual Manco store in game. Now I know it's not the best place to be buying a whole lot of stuff, but if you've just started off with $10 and you're trying to get a premium account, maybe you've even been given a $10 Steam gift card or something like that, then this is how you'd probably end up using it, right? Surprisingly with $10, there's actually like a lot you can be doing with it, which is quite cool. So a good way about doing this, if you are spending this money on Steam and you're trying to get premium, you can go into the Steam store, buy something like a name tag, a backpack expander, maybe a Toro Duty ticket, because they stay similarly priced when you move from the Manco store to the Steam community market. So you won't be losing too much there and you should get premium because you're making a purchase in the actual TF2 store. So if your aim is to get premium, then that is probably the best way to do it and then spend the rest of the money on the Steam community market. The value there is a lot better. Another piece of advice would be to never, ever, please don't ever do this, buy weapons or hats on the Manco store. It's a massive waste of money. You can buy keys to sell them for ref and buy the items that way. Or you could be just buying Toro Duty tickets, selling those for ref and, you know, doing the same thing. The fact that they charge like seven pounds, I'm not sure exactly what that is in dollars, for like one hat, when they actually realistically cost a couple of cents. Yeah, don't ever buy hats from the Manco store. It's fine if you've already done it by accident, you know now. So don't do it anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I would say one of the best uses of your $10 or £10 or 10 euros, whatever currency you're using, is basically buy as many keys as you possibly can. I was basing these prices off the TF2 store, but in pounds, you can actually get five keys for £10. But if keys are like $2.50 in USD, then you'd only really be able to get four. But with those keys, there comes another million different options that you can actually do with them. You can trade with them, so you could try and buy unusuals, or you could try and buy some higher tier items, and you could be doing everything like that, trying to make profit with them. You can unbox with them just to get some random stuff to start trading with, or just keep if you want, that's also allowed. You can sell the keys for ref and just start trading like that if you wanted to. Or with that ref instead, you could just be buying yourself some really cool cosmetics, weapons, any of that stuff, just to make some sets that you use for your classes actually quite nice to look at. I realize not everybody is going to be into trading, so talking about like the best use of these items to trade with, it might not apply to everybody. You might just like some cool sets, which is allowed. There's no rules of what you have to do with this $10. You don't even have to listen to anything I say in this video, really. The next really good thing you could be buying with that $10 is MVM tickets. You can play MVM with some of your friends and try and get something good. They are also really good to sell for ref as well. So if you wanted to sell stuff for ref really quickly, these are pretty perfect. Or instead of worrying about getting good items from MVM or trying to sell the tickets for profit or anything, you could just play MVM with your friends, have some fun. If you get something good, great. If not, then it doesn't matter. You had a good time playing MVM. Cool. I would say if you're going to buy keys to risk unboxing or MVM tickets to risk MVM, you do have to be prepared to actually lose the $10 you're investing because chances are you're probably not going to make that back straight away unless you unbox an unusual first try or in one of the four keys that you buy or you actually do get an Australian or a really nice professional kit from the MVM tours, you're probably losing your money here. Whereas if you're trading or something like that, then you mostly keep the value and there's a higher chance for that value to go up with what you've bought. Because you're trading, you're trying to make profit, that is the whole goal of it. But it can take a lot longer and it might not be for everyone. It just might not be that fun for you. 
Also, if you don't want to do anything I have said in this video, you don't want to buy MVM tickets, you don't really want to buy keys or something like that, with a dollar, like, you can make a pretty decent set for every single class in the game, and you'll have a dollar left that you could put onto your favorite class and spend two dollars on that loadout instead of just one. If you did buy, like, the keys or the tickets to sell for ref and then trade for the items that you want the way I said, then you'd be easily able to get all of your misks, all of your hats, and all of your weapons, pretty much, for every single class for less than a dollar, depending on what you're actually looking at. If you want an Australian Scattergun, it's not happening for less than a dollar, but a nice Scattergun skin is very easy to get. But putting together a really good loadout for less than a dollar is actually quite easy. And there's a lot of items that you can be using that will cost you not that much. I think it's again important to note that if you are spending this $10 to try and get premium in TF2, then buy something on the Manco store first. Then I'd recommend moving over to the Steam Community Market because there's more choice on there. The prices are way better and you're still able to spend your Steam money, which is probably what you're doing. So anyway, that is going to do it for the video. That is how I'd go about spending $10. I know I said a whole bunch of stuff in this video, but there's so many different ways you can go about spending that money if you want to. At the end of the day, it is important to remember that it is your money. So spend it how you want to. These are just my like advice and the things I would do and my recommendations. That's the word I was looking for a second ago. But yeah, that's what I would recommend doing. You don't have to listen to it. You can go and do your own thing completely. That's completely fine. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm also going to be live streaming on Twitch as this video goes live. So if you want to come and watch me play TF2, then there is a link in the description and in my pinned comment. But yeah, I basically think I've said everything I needed to say in this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all tomorrow with another one. Goodbye.